What is up guys, this is Otto. This is going to be an in-depth guide of how to get the Insane in the Membrane feat of strength and the Insane title that comes along with this. This is one of the hardest achievements to get within the game, but it's also one of the coolest titles that you can get in the game. I'm going to show you guys how to get it. Okay, so to get the Insane title, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to be exalted with Booty Bay, Everlook, Gadgetzan, Ratchet. Ratchet is in the Barrens, Gadgetzan is in Terrace, Everlook is in Winter Spring, and Booty Bay is in Stranglethorn Vale. And you're going to need to be exhausted with all four of these. They're the Goblin Factions, but you do not need to worry about the Bilgewater Cartel. They're Horde only, and they're completely worthless for this grind. Um, the other factions that you're going to need. Ravenholt, Exalted, Darkman Fair, Exalted, and Bloodsail Buccaneers at Honored. And I'm going to show you guys how to get these. Okay, so the first reputation you're going to want to get is going to be the Bloodsail Buccaneers. You're going to want to come to Booty Bay. It's in Stranglethorn Vale. And you're going to kill the goblins here by looking at your reputation, selecting Booty Bay, select that war you want the swords to be there. And that's going to cause the goblins to become hostile to you so that you can attack them. And you're going to want to have a group of five people at the most to do this. If you have any more than five people with you, you're going to, um, your reputation gain is going to be less. So my recommendation is a maximum of five people. You're going to kill these goblins. They have a pretty big health pool. But this is the fastest way to get the rep of the Bloodsail Buccaneers. There's another method that I'm going to show you guys next that you can also use. It's much slower, but if you don't have any, like, people to help you out, or you're lower level trying to get this achievement, um, I'll show you guys how to do that. There's going to be some NPCs over here, the Bloodsail NPCs. They don't attack these guys no matter what. It's not part of the grind to kill these guys. It won't, it'll only hurt you to fight them. So don't kill those guys. Another um, another good thing that you get is if you look at your feats of strength, you also get this feat of strength when you grind up with the Blood Cell Buccaneers. And maybe I'll make a separate video on that, or you can just Google this and it'll show you how you get this and when you grind up with the Blood Cell Buccaneers. And this is this that's all you got to do for this for this um, part of the reputation. You just got to kill these guards until your reputation is honored with the Blood Cell Buccaneers. Once it's armed with the Bloodsail Buccaneers, just stop fighting these guys. That's all you have to do. That part, that reputation is done with. And then you can start farming up with these goblins, but do not. It's very important that you don't try to grind up with these goblins until you're armed with the Bloodsail Buccaneers. Because the only way to get armed with the Bloodsail Buccaneers is to kill these guys. And it's going to significantly decrease your reputation with these guys. So you don't want that to happen. Because this grind is hard enough as it is, you don't want to um to mess it up so that's very important get ironed with the blood cell buccaneers before you grind up with the goblins remember that okay so for the next reputation you're going to get exalted with Ravenholt. but before i show you how to do that i'm going to show you guys the alternative to getting reputation with the blood cell buccaneers at honored okay some guys are already here doing it and you can use the battle standard it gives you you buy that from the guild winner, it gives you 15% additional reputation gains. Or if you're a human, like this guy, Ali Scum, you'll get additional reputation gains as a passive if you're a human. Um, this mob in particular, Shakes a Brain, responds extremely quickly. He only gives about 5.5 reputation without the battle standard. This guy gives a little more reputation, really slow respawn. These two guys... Look how fast that guy respawned. These two guys also respawn slowly but give a lot of reputation. And then there's one additional guy that will spawn right here that you can kill. After that, you're going to go over to Stormguard Keep. You can also go to Northfold Manor, but Stormguard Keep is where you're going to want to spend most of your time for Ravenholt grind. And I mean, Falder's Cove is where you grind with Bloodsail Buccaneers, and Stormguard Keep's right here for Ravenholt. I mean, is that a coincidence? I don't think so. You're going to head over here, and you're just going to kill these mobs. It's as simple as that. It's going to take a very long time, hours of grinding. It gives you about 5.5 rep each. I recommend using a ranged character, like a hunter or a warlock, and put your pet on passive. Any sort of speed boost, like Aspect of the Cheetah, will be helpful. If these guys are not respawning fast enough for whatever reason, or there's too many people here killing them, 
You could also go to Northfold Manor. There's not as many mobs there. And at Northfold Manor, there's also going to be low levels questing there. Because, um... There's quests to kill the mobs there, so you might see some low levels killing the NPCs there. Also, notice how you it says reputation with Ravenholt increased, reputation with Syndicate decreased. Completely disregard that. The reputation with Syndicate does not does not matter at all. Just don't worry about that at all. It doesn't. That really doesn't do anything. And this is the alternative place where you can grind with Ravenholt. You're gonna want to go around the outside edge of this. There's gonna be some stealth NPCs. Gonna be some NPCs around here too. Um, see, like this, the stealth guy right here. Gonna fight you. There's about a dozen outside the edge of, of that guy. Um, right here, there's a rare dog that spawns. Snuffles. So, if you're lucky enough to see s Snuffles, you can kill him. And these give you the same amount of reputation as they do at um, Stormguard. There's not um, as many mobs here. The respawn is not that great. So only go here if all the mobs at Stormguard are, haven't respawned yet. And this is gonna, you're going to want to just kill these mobs until you're revered. Once you're revered, these guys will no longer give you any reputation. And you're going to need a rogue. And you're going to need a lot of lock boxes. And that's going to be the next part of the Okay, so when you're grinding um, reputation with Ravenholt, you're going to want to come here to Ravenholt Manor. It's in Hills Bradford Hills. It's kind of isolated over here. Um, go inside. There's a repeatable quest right here. And it requires heavy jump box. The only way to get this is to loot, loot it with a rogue by pickpocketing. You turn in five at a time, it gives 82 reputation. And like I said, throw down your battle standard. Give you additional reputation. And you can, um... I'll show you guys in just a minute where you go to get these lockboxes and how to farm those. But and you can go through the lockboxes, just don't get everything out of them, because then the lockbox will just disappear and you can't turn it in. You turn them in five at a time, and this is how you get from revered to exalted. You can use this the whole way up from neutral to exalted, but I recommend killing the mobs at Stormguard Keep. It's I think it's a little easier. Because you're still going to have to get plenty of boxes to get from a grid to exalted. Okay, so for this part of the grind, you're going to need a rogue. Um, ideally, a rogue from level 50 to 60 is the minimum level that you're going to want to be. A 90 rogue is great, a higher level rogue is something that is best for this. Um, special 60 is also especially good because of the burst of speed talent. will make this go a lot faster. And you're going to need this macro. And I'll put that in the description. And you're just going to want to go around stealth, of course. Go to the mobs. I would recommend making a key binding. And the drop rate from these guys doesn't seem to be that high. But look how many mobs there are. There's a ton of mobs. You just go around and loot these. There's just like different groups of these guys all over the place. And this is in Burning Steps. The Black Rock Stronghold. And this is one place that it can be farmed. The other place that I would recommend, um, where I did most of my grinding. Hey, look. Very mob. The other place I recommend doing most of the grinding is going to be here in Upper Black Rock Spire. The, um, and that, that's the instance, it has the raid portal, the Blackwing Lair inside of it. I'll show you guys how to get to it. You go into Black Rock Mountain from the Burning Step side. And right here there's going to be an opening if you have a flying mount. If you don't have a flying mount, you're going to go in through there to get here. Go through, just enter the dungeon. There's a ton of mobs in here, and I think the drop rate is a little higher, at least it seems to be. Go around stealth, just running with burst of speed, pickpocketing all the mobs in here. And wait, the item that you're looking, and turn on auto loot, for sure, that helps a lot. And the item you're looking for is going to be heavy junk box.
And I haven't gotten one yet, that's not good. Let's take, there's one, finally. You just kind of want to go through this entire instance. And, I mean, if you're an engineer, that helps a lot. I'm not an engineer. But you can use a portable mailbox, because if you're not grinding the rep on your rogue, you're going to need to mail those lockboxes. So your character that is trying to get the insane title. Got a mailbox. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to get exalted with the four goblin reputations. Um, Everlook, Ratchet, Booty Bay, and Gadget's in. To do that, you're going to want to come to Tanner's. There's two places you can go, Lost River Cove. This is a little bit of a smaller area. There'll be low levels questing here, like these guys. The mods give you about about three, about two and a half reputation each. Gives you the most with Gadget's in. The good news about this reputation is that you grind all four reps at once by killing these pirates. I recommend coming here if you're by yourself because the mobs are closer together. I came here on my paladin just because I happen to be at the caverns of time. But keep in mind all these reputations need to be on the same character. And you just want to throw it on your battle standard in the middle or run around this place. There's NPCs in the buildings on this ship, on that ship over there, and there. Just go around and kill all these guys. And it's, this is, this. some would say this is the hardest part. It's not hard. It just takes a really long time. You just gotta go around one-shotting all these NPCs. You just gotta stick with it. it you, you don't wanna know how many of these guys you have to kill. This is, this would be ideal if you have two or even three people. Um, one guy to be over here, one guy to be over here, two battle standards, because, um, these guys respawn, there's always a certain number of them have to be spawned in the area, so if you're killing guys on this side and killing guys on this spot side, this, the respawns are going to be almost instantaneous. Um, on this ship right here, there will be an NPC that spawns, Andre Firebeard, he's a rare mob. And he will grant a lot of reputation. I believe it's like 30 reputation. So you can go kill him if he's there. But you're just going to want to kill all these guys continuously. Just keep in mind that it's just going to be a really long grind. We just got to continuously kill these pirates until you are exalted with the four goblin reputations. That's all you got to do. Alright, um, I know it's been a really long video. I'm just going to wrap it up here. With the final reputation you're going to need, it's going to be the Dark Moon Fair. Um, this is the one that's actually going to take the longest. Reason being, the Dark Moon Fair only comes once a month, so it begins, goes for a week, and then it ends. And so this, this took me several months before I could actually complete this achievement for the Dark Moon Fair. This is the staging area. It's in Mulgore if you're a Horde right near Thunder Bluff. If you're an Alliance character, it's going to be in Elwyn Forest. Right here, south of Wilshire. Um, There'll just be a portal here. You'll go through it. It'll take you straight to Dartmouth Fair. And it sucks because for this video, I won't be able to show you guys what to do while you're there. I'm just going to tell you. So, um, there's going to be several daily quests. That you're going to want to complete. There's an item that you can buy at the Dark Moon Fair, the Dark Moon Top Hat, which will reward you additional reputation with them. The battle standard doesn't work. Like I've tried it and it didn't give me any extra reputation um, with the Dark Moon Fair. It worked for the other ones, but it didn't give me any extra rep when I did the Dark Moon Dailies. Another way <clears throat> you can do this is by using. The um, items that drop once you get the Dark Moon Dungeon Journal. And that, that's a quest you can get in a capital city to go to the Dark Moon Fair. And it'll, it'll give you the Dark Moon Dungeon Journal. And that'll cause items to drop in battlegrounds and dungeons and places like that that you can turn in. They'll begin a quest and then you can go turn that in. So you'll want to get all of those items. <clears throat> I'll put those in the description. 
some of these include, um, let me think, uh, Captured Insignia, Mysterious Grimoire, stuff like that. That beginning quest, you turn it in. Some of them require a higher level. I think a lot of them require level 15. It might give you other rewards, but you're going to want to turn those in for the rep, as, as well as doing the dailies there. The dailies are really simple, they're really fun, it's not hard. But it'll just take a long time because of the fair only comes for a week out of every month, so most of the time it won't be there. And that's how you're going to want to get your reputation with the Dartmouth Fair. And um, I'll make another guide, maybe, or another video that's more in-depth to that. Because, um, just so you guys will know what to do, I couldn't do it in this video because simply the fair wasn't here. So I'm sorry about that, but this should still be enough information for you to get that reputation. Alright, alright. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, any of that will help me out a lot. This is a brand new channel. Um, if there's any guides or any other videos that you want me to make, um, just post it that in the comments and I'll try to get to it. I wish you the best of luck in getting your insane title. Thanks for watching.